So to finish up the lesson here, all right, number nine says, given GH bisects angle FGI, you look, right? Here's FGI and here's GH, okay? If GH bisects that, what you have to understand is you get two congruent angles out of this. Now they tell you FGH, this angle here is 3X minus 3. And HGI, they tell you, is 4X minus 14. Um, what you have to understand is if, all right, sorry, my computer jumped there. All right, so let's get back down there. Right, so if a ray bisects an angle, then we get two congruent angles. So right away, if GH cuts this angle or bisects it, it cuts it in half, which means each angle is congruent. So what we get out of this is angle F G H ends up being congruent to angle H G I. So 3x minus 3 is equal to 4x. And right away when I solve this, I get x is equal to um, 11. Okay, and that would be the value of x. All right, look at the next one. Given a bisects BN or CN, right? What you have to understand is anytime you see this word bisects, you get two congruent something. And if I'm bisecting a segment, I'm going to get two congruent segments. So right away I know CA is congruent to AN. So if CA is congruent to AN, right, then I know 5x is equal to 3x plus 10. So 2x is equal to 10, x is equal to 5. Once I have the value of 5 or x, right now, CA is 5 times 5, which is 25. AN will also, because they're equal, you know AN is 25. And then you know CN, if both of these are 25, if this is 25 and this is 25, you know the whole segment is 25 plus 25, which is 50, okay? So that is the notes um, for this section. Please, please make sure um, you complete all the notes and the homework. Uh, see you tomorrow.